Good evening, everyone. I'm Natalia Joe, and this is the RCN News in English. Today in Armenia, two local street vendors got aggressive with the defenders of public space when they tried to confiscate the fruit that they were selling without a permit. In this video, you can see how the women defend themselves with the papayas. At one point, one of the public functionaries punches out one of the women and throws her to the ground, while the other is cornered. Three of the men involved in the fight were injured by the two women and are said to have medical incapacity up to 12 days. Despite the bruises and injuries that the street vendors also received from the public space defenders, the women abstained from denouncing the men out of fear of the consequences. The buzz on the possible corruption scandal in Bogota continues. The country's anti-corruption czar has stated that the tape that was leaked to the media yesterday where Bogota's controller Miguel Angel Morales, Congressman Germano Molano, and a contractor appear allegedly involved in an act of corruption with the city's resources is more than enough to commence a full investigation. The czar assures that if the accusations against Miguel Angel Morales are sustained, Bogota's head of city funds will have to renounce his position as contralor while he is investigated. According to the czar, a penal investigation must also be implemented in this case. A 34-year-old merchant that had been kidnapped two weeks ago in Cali was rescued by the police. The man was found with signs of physical abuse and handcuffed to a bed. His kidnappers had been asking for a ransom of 100 million pesos to his family. During the police operation, three people were detained and the three vehicles that were used for the abduction were immobilized. Also, authorities found three grenades and a rifle. Miss Colombia Natalia Navarro continues on her social work in the country. The beauty queen traveled to Corozal Sucre and visited the pediatrics ward at Las Mercedes Hospital. That same night, Natalia participated in a fashion show in Cincelejo that raised funds for the purchase of medical equipment for the handicapped sucureños. According to the latest departmental census, more than 60% of the 14,000 handicapped people of Sucre are children. And that's what's happening in Colombia this Saturday evening. Remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Colombia News to keep updated 24-7. I'm Natalia Joao with the RCN News in English, bringing Colombia to the world.